Okay, am I in focus? Probably not. Let's see. Uh, all right, so I just did a photo shoot actually today, this morning. I just did a photo shoot, did a little photo shoot for, with my mom again for her food. And I discovered a little thing, a little tip I wanted to share with you guys. I was pretty, I was pretty psyched when I discovered this. And you might be wondering, why am I in this weird, awkward location in, in this area with one light? Because my mom is out there making a bunch of noise, putting away dishes. She can really make a lot of noise when putting away dishes. I kind of do the same thing too, but I just want to have to deal with that. And I want to get this done. So that's why I'm in here. So, I was doing, I was taking a picture of this uh, sugar, this type of sugar. It's actually sugar made from maple syrup. Real maple syrup, not that crap that you get at the, at the grocery store that's called pancake syrup. That's just flavored corn syrup. I probably offended a lot of people by saying that because some people do like that stuff. And if you are, I'm sorry, you're strange. Either way, I wanted to get closer to the sugar crystals. The thought came, why don't you use a magnifying glass? I was like, what? That's not gonna work. So I got this magnifying glass off my mom's desk. I cleaned it off because it was crusted up with stuff. I don't know what she does with different glass products. Like so many times I've had to clean off the screen of her phone because it's got like crusted up stuff on it. Either way, I got this magnifying glass and made these images. I was pretty shocked. So like for five bucks, you can make yourself a pretty decent macro lens. That That is at a full 70 millimeters on F9, I believe. And uh, shutter speed is 200, I believe. ISO is 2500, I think. But yeah, you want, you want to set the aperture to something big, like F9, F6, something like that. Because if you shoot it down to 2.8, then it looks like this. It's very short, the depth of field is like super tiny and it makes some weird warping stuff around the edges, but it helps if you make it bigger. This, this is a great way to get close to your subject if you want a cool little macro, if you want a cheap macro lens, you know, just slap this on the front of your lens. I even did the front of my, uh, whoops, did the front of my 60D, put it on the front of this. Same thing, so you don't need a fancy smancy lens to, to do this with. Uh, yeah, and also you get some like cool little distortions happening around the edges. I, thought, I just thought it was cool. Something that I just learned. Maybe you guys have already known it. That's basically it. That's all I want. That's all I wanted to share with you guys this week. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe. And boom, I don't have an outro, so I'll just sit here awkwardly.